Okay, hello guys. Today we will be we'll, we are going to learn what are triggered sends, how do we create a triggered send definition in our marketing cloud account, and then how do we fire that triggered send definition using a REST API call. Okay, so this complete process involves three steps, which I have right here. Right here, the first step is to create a package in the account. Okay, the second step step involves getting an access token. Okay, and third step involves firing the triggered send using the REST API. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first step. Okay, so we go into the setup. Okay, we go into the apps, install packages. We create a new package, we, we, we give it a name. Package one, let's say. Save it. We add a component. This should be an API integration component. We go next. It would be a server to server integration. Okay. So we define the you know appropriate permission. Uh, it should we should have we should give it email send write permission and data extension read and write. But uh, if you are creating for the test purpose, I would suggest you to create, uh, you know, give it all the permissions so you can perform several other functions as well using the same, you know, client ID and credentials. Okay. So once you are done with this process, you get client ID, client secret, and this authorization URL. Okay. So I already have a package created. I'm going to use this one which I already have. Okay. I have client ID and client secret. So now we have created the package. The next step is to get the access token, right? So for access token, I already have the code right here. I'll give you the you know link to documentation in the description. You will find the endpoint there. This would be your endpoint. It it includes the subdomain and the rest of the endpoint. Okay. Client ID. You would provide the client ID from here from the package. And client secret also you will find in the package account ID you will find right here in the marketing cloud account cool you would fire this okay you get this access token you can copy this access token and we will be using this access token when we will fire the triggered send so now the next step is to create the triggered send definition in the account so let's go ahead and do that Only if it let me. Okay. We go to the triggered emails. We create a triggered send. Give it a name. Let the test send whatever it is. You choose a send classification, whether it would be a commercial or transactional. You define the sender profile, delivery profile. You choose the email okay. you pick an email from the content builder the email which you would like to send okay you choose a list or a data extension okay so whenever you would fire a triggered send okay to let's say to an email address uh, aman at gmail.com so that email address and the other attributes which you would pass in the rest api call would be saved into this list or this data extension you can choose provide a suppression list so you can suppress some customers if you want so once that done, I already have a triggered send definition created right here. We will be using this one, triggered email one. The external key is adventure. So this we will be will need this external key to fire the send. Okay. So the endpoint is this. I'll provide you the endpoint link to the endpoint description. Sorry, article. You provide your external key of the triggered send in the endpoint. You add it right here okay then this is a rest api code it should be in the json format just so you know okay you will you will provide other details like the email address subscriber key okay so uh, let's say if i already have a subscriber with this e uh, subscriber key in the account then it would lead to an error so i'll just change it you would define the from address so for test from address for me is aman at mccloud.com 
you would define the name which would be from name now you, one thing you need to do is in the headers you would define the access token that, that we get here okay come into the header the key should be authorization the value should be bearer like this and after that the access token we'll collect the access token again yes so we have the access token right here we will copy it okay, go into the body okay headers header okay so provide the access token right here okay after bearer just make sure it is there should be a space between access token and bearer in the body we have everything I think let's fire the trigger send so component that this rest API call should have is the first one would be your endpoints just make sure it is post we are posting it to this endpoint in endpoint you should have the external external key of the trigger send definition okay you should have the address subscriber key so if the email which you will send using the trigger send has some personalization strings let's say if my uh, you know trigger send has a uh, name you know first name of the customer so I would have to define the name as well otherwise it would you know so that's how I would you know define it there first name equals to someone you know so right now I my trigger send doesn't have any personalization string so I can leave it blank so this is my you know from address from name let's fire it off let's see it is sending the request okay so has error is false that means there were no error the trigger send has been sent let's go into the account and see this is the definition that we have okay. so I believe it should be queued okay so in queue I can see there is a one that means the trigger send has been queued I think in probably in two minutes it should be you know the receiver should receive the email okay so that is the thing with tr triggers and emails that we have triggers and emails are slow okay so in send classification we can define the priority of the send you know it can be medium or high but again it takes at least one minute to reach to the you know subscriber or the receiver so uh, sometime back uh, marketing cloud or Salesforce Marketing Cloud launch another API which is transaction messaging API using which we can fire a triggered send okay uh, it hardly takes a second to receive you know to reach to the subscriber that is very impressive in next in my next video I will discuss that you know API everything is uh, you know the process is same we will generate access token we will use that access token to fire off the send okay so see you in next video thank you bye bye